Guys, let's have fun. Two, one. Souls up, gentlemen. Let's go. Nice fight. Is it? Is it? It is so much fun doing this festival, and one of the things we're here to prove is that Hoosiers like to be outdoors when it's cold outside. <laughs> now, some of you have said to me, oh, how wonderful, it's going to be 50 degrees on Saturday. No, it's not, because you're all going to pray. We have to keep it like 30 and below, the fellas tell me. So everyone's going home and pray about the weather, and it's the only time we've ever prayed to have it colder than it was going to be. So you got to promise to do that. Uh, it's wonderful because it's like having them come back home, and not only is it good to have them come back home, but they all give us hugs and they kisses and everything, right? right? Well, this is too. Oh, yeah, we like them. We take whatever we can get, right? Right. Now, a couple of them are a little shy, and so I've been told that... Um, that not everyone wants to talk to you, but we're going to have some introductions done. And, and I'm told the two gentlemen, the gentlemen on either end, are the best in doing introductions. So we're going to start over here with Reverend Butters. Um, and I asked him one time why it was Reverend Butters, and he said that's better than margarine. So um, that's a joke, isn't it? See, and I did. <laughs> I used your joke. Okay. Uh, introduce the group. I have to nothing us, now. All I had was that one joke. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I blew it, didn't I? No, 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 never, 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 never. Okay, no. introduce the fellas. Group. This is Shannon the Cannon, everybody. So, Shannon the Cannon, tell them what you're about. <laughs> That's what he's all about. <laughs> Mysterious. So, Dean Damaris. Hey there, hey, Dean Demers. You, you got one minute. <laughs> <laughs> they told me to be careful about who I get. I'll talk all night. Well, I will talk all night. Yes, I will. I don't have a problem with it. We can talk about whatever you want. But right now it's about me, so let me carry on, please. My name is Dean Demers, Dallas, Texas. Been carbonized here. I've uh, been carbonized for about 28 years. Uh, absolutely love all these guys. We've had a blast. And yes, Shannon the Cannon, one of the quiet ones. and. Danny Bellas here will be one of the next, uh, one of our local boys not too far away that always uh, gives a great helping hand. So. Hey, George. <laughs> Hi, guys. Thanks for coming out. And um, my name is Danny Bellas. I work for the, no. <laughs> <laughs> I work for the University of Notre Dame as a cook and I'm their head ice carver, ice sculptor. And um, we enjoy coming to all these festivals, especially Richmond. Um, we just love being here, and thanks for having us. Hello, uh, Darren Best. Uh, this is my second year here, and it's been fun. I'm actually uh, an executive chef at High V Market Grill in Springfield, Illinois. And uh, I'm mainly here because of Eric here. We go back quite a ways. But I've gotten to be friends with these guys from Texas and Michigan. and Another good group of guys here. Andrew, we work, we do work well together, and you have to, so. That's <laughs> That was butter. <laughs> That's juicy. Uh, my name is Eric Kendall, and we just really appreciate everyone pitching in to make the festival work. You know, we know that not one person can make it happen. You know, it takes a lot of people giving a little bit and a little bit of their time and look what you have to show for it. You know, you, you have a good group of carvers here who get along. We, we love our job and we love creating that. That creates an environment where we can create beautiful works of art for you to enjoy and to get the community out to enjoy our craft. And so we appreciate your efforts and, you know, go from there. Talk to that Andrew. <laughs> Oh, well, he's gonna be last. No. I'm gonna top that. Let me hold that. Let me hold that. My talk. My talker. But uh, I'm Andrew. I'm from San Antonio, Texas, and uh, thanks for having us back. Third year, and uh, thanks for the support. And we're gonna work hard for you. Make sure you have a great festival again this year. So, drop the mic. Four of these guys are running number two in the world. Baby.
Four of us are ranked number two in the world. Jason Troutwine, Vice Chancellor for External Affairs at Indiana University East. This is a great event. It brings a lot of different groups together. It brings tourism into the community. It's a cultural event, and, and that's really important to our campus as we're trying to continually talk about the arts and make sure that it's at the forefront of what we're doing in the community. You know, tonight we're here in room 912 for the Meltdown Sponsor Reception. And this is a play, place where art is often viewed and, and exhibited, and it kind of goes right along with the lines of what we're doing with Meltdown, trying to celebrate the arts and just let it be top of mind for our community, as well as economic development activities. Last year. Awesome. Yeah, I remember you. I got my eye on you. I'm watching you. Who watched TV this morning? Who watched the news? You see me on TV this morning? Did you? What did I carve? Quick test. You forget? Yeah. Had a long day. A long day? It's tough being a kid, huh? <laughs> Who saw ice sculptures last year? Anybody? You guys gonna come out? Yeah? You were right in the front row the whole time. You're gonna be like out here with us in a couple years, aren't you? Huh? You need a chainsaw. Here, do this. I'll watch. <laughs> you should be a pro. Have an idea. You guys want something fun? Yeah! Okay, let's do something fun. Let's start right here. So I gotta start, I gotta draw it first. Kinda. So I know what to do. Any guesses yet? No. Huh? <laughs> How about now? Plant. Plant? Yeah. Palm tree. Ah! Hey! <laughs> Alright, we'll see. Let's see what it turns out to be, huh?
good, Bumpy? Bumpy? Yeah. No, yeah, we gotta keep working. Target? A target? I took a target. 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 I took your tires? Crowd already, you're loud. 
everybody are ready for a good time, and we're going to have a great time tonight. Who is at their first ever ice fight tonight? Raise your hand. Oh, look at all these ice fight rookies. Well, you're about to fall in love with the coolest sport in America. It is now time to introduce our fighters, and these are some of the best ice sculptors in the world. Are you ready, Richmond? Let's introduce Team Fire. Starting with the man that's been everywhere from Los Angeles to Tallahassee to Maine sculpting ice all over this great country. Give it up to Shannon the Cannon. He is partnering tonight with a multi-time ice fight champion. He holds several titles all across the country from Texas to Alabama and unde undefeated where? Undefeated in Richmond. He is Dean the Dragon. Tim this is Team Fire. Now let's introduce Team Ice. Now you talk about a duo over here. This is a formidable team right here because you are dealing with two ultra veterans of the ice fight arena. Give it up first and foremost. The man in the hat is a multi-time ice fight champion and one of the most creative sculptors you'll ever meet. He is the one and only, the multi-time champion, the River and Butter! his teammate tonight with too many Texas State Championships to even mention. What are we up to? 15? He has been sculpting for 30 years. He is the red-haired one himself. He is the Viking, Buddy Rasmussen. And, and just to make tonight even more interesting, Buddy's already bleeding. Buddy's already taking a hit on the head tonight. He's bleeding. It's not slowing him down. This is Team Ice. Give it up for Team Ice tonight. Count it down. Get your tools ready, gentlemen. Ten, nine, count with me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Souls up, gentlemen. Let's go. Ice Fights is officially underway in Richmond. It is Friday night. Ice Fights at the Richmond Meltdown. And there go our carvers. Ice Fighters have an amazing ability to use a chainsaw to hack away gigantic chunks of ice and then to use it very delicately and draw all the ice like it's a pencil. It's just amazing what they can do. Reverend Butter is on my right carving for Team Ice. He is carving some very thin lines into the ice on this side. You've got your paddles out there, so if you start liking what you see, hold them up. Tell us what your votes are so far. As he's throwing ice fights, we call that the avalanche zone because you might get snowed on, you might get ice hitting you, so watch out for that. Taking pieces off, and that's about a 15-pound block of ice just falling right off the stage. Here comes another block of ice just crashing the stage. Not the safest thing in the world to do. Don't try this at home. But Dean the Dragon Damaris, he is a lifetime ice carving champion. He knows exactly what he's doing right now. But you wouldn't catch me doing that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the Reverend Butter, it scares me a little bit to be next to a guy that's unsteady on a, on a stool with a chainsaw. Lots of ice down in the avalanche zone right now. As the clock is up all the way from Texas, Buddy the Viking Rasmussen carving tonight for Team Ice. Hey, we're just got a time update. We have five minutes left.
anything that tall. Is that the tallest ice sculpture you've ever made in an ice fight? Yeah, that's one of the small ones we usually make, you know? That's what you call a small one. The biggest we've made is a 30-foot crucifix in Fairbanks, Alaska. 30 feet tall. Wow. Tall. That's the tallest I've ever seen. That's huge. We didn't have more than 45 minutes for that one, though. <laughs> you did. Is this the tallest you've ever done in this short amount of time? Probably. I think so. That is amazing. All right, very well done. Shannon the Cannon, Dean the Dragon, you had some trouble with your blowtorch, but you got a lot of detail in your piece. What do you want to tell us about it? I wish the fire was working for the fire team. That was all I was looking for. Set up place of fire. That's all right. You know what, Team Fire? They still love you, man. Who's loving Team Fire right now? about Team Ice right now. Let's wait a little bit for the crowd. Let's see who uh, who's looking for Team Ice. All right, what do you... What do you think? Ice, 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 meet people and see things that you know you don't normally get to see. The ice sculptures are incredible. It's just awesome the way they just do it right in front of you. And you get to cheer your favorite team. I'm Team Ice, of course, True Blue. You gotta come down here and represent. I'm from Centerville, so you gotta represent the blue. But it's all about Wayne County, coming down here, having fun, and just meeting other people and having a good time. Hey, Dean Damaris here from Dallas. Uh, one of the ice carvers here at the Richmond Meltdown and absolutely loving it here. Uh, the people are phenomenal. The support here from the city is truly outstanding. Uh, to see the event grow and grow each year has, has made us all just feel overwhelming in everything we have. Uh, to know that the people here enjoy it and the people here want us back and to try and do more and try and do better is all we're looking for. And hopefully this will do it and with everything else we can get ourselves a little bit further and see the city be a little more prosperous along the way in these colder, harder times of the winter. So, But we're here carving today, a little bit of sea, seascape ideas and some uh, pirates and uh, we should be doing um, something else. I don't know, other carvings. 
Uh, the biggest one we have here this week is probably going to be the Richmond Meltdown Welcome Sign. Uh, we've got a uh, bison that we're doing for the Bicentennial. Uh, that one's probably going to be the second largest on that one. Uh, the Richmond sign itself should be somewhere around 20 feet long, uh, 4 to 5 feet tall in some cases. Uh, and the uh, next biggest one would be the bison, and that one's probably about 10 feet long and probably about 9.5 feet tall. People have seen a block of ice. There. Yeah. Andrew was carving one at the yeah. library the other yeah. day. When you start talking about something that's 20 feet long in that yeah. block, how yeah. many blocks of ice are you dealing with, and how much time does it take, one, to create the idea, and then two, to make that idea come to life in the ice? The, we have different ones that can take anywhere from a couple hours to several days. Uh, the pirate ship was a little easier to uh, come up with this time because we already put all the labor into it last year at this point. Uh, it was here in Richmond uh, one year ago that we were in the hotel room. We all sat down and made our decision as to what we're going to do and how the design is going to be. And for us to be able to see that whole thing come across, we wanted to at least try and do a little smaller miniature version of it here. And so it's a little easier to come up with the idea because you've already put in the legwork. You know, coming up with the idea and the concept is typically the harder part of the process. And for us in this case, to be able to see it not just once, but see it twice and truly take it to the, the top of the hill and see, you know, take it to second place in the world was pretty darn exciting knowing that it all started here. And we're back here a year again and we're all getting geared up and ramped up to go to Alaska again. So in another two weeks, we'll be back there again and fighting for that first place prize. Hi, my name is Valerie Schaefer and I'm the president of the Wayne County Economic Development Corporation. I am so excited that this is the third year of our Meltdown Festival. I think it is, it is something that means so much to this community in so many different ways. Um, it's really something that sets us apart from other communities. You know, this is something that's very unique for Richmond, something that we can market and really make our own. Um, but it's also something that not only we can celebrate as a local community, but it's something that really brings in outside visitors who want to come to our community and see the great things that we have to offer in addition to the festival. I have one of the ice carvers mocking me right now. <laughs> making it really hard to focus, but they are what make this event a lot of fun. So I'm just very appreciative uh, that I have the opportunity to be involved. And thanks to everyone. Come on, bring it in! <laughs> Yay! <laughs>